I think what makes this car unique is that it has this unique Italian spirit. It's a car that is easy to use, it's fun to drive, it's an affordable kind of a car. We are in this tradition of the of an Italian car that is made that is meant to be, you know, part of your life and part of a beautiful lifestyle. This car was actually, as we called it, like it's a natural born spider. It's not 
um, linked to any any coupes or any any. It's not a derivative of an existing vehicle. So it's this unique car with beautiful proportions. It has a long front hood. It has white tracks. It has a beautiful dash to axle ratio. A, a tight cabin and a short rear deck. The number one feature, if you want to stay with the proportional aspects and the si in, in, um, inside you, is the simplicity and the elegance of the lines. We have very fluid horizontal lines. And there's a single styling feature actually on the body side. There's a, a line that starts on the front fender, kicks up ever so slightly over the door handle and nicely follows, flows back into the rear end. I'm very happy with the spirit of this car. If I had to pick a favorite angle of the car, I think it would be the front face and the front three-quarter view. I think the face, the look, that concentrated look, that, that friendliness, that eagerness, the sculpture of the hood, the way the, the front fender blends into the volume of the car, I think we can be very proud of this as a team. Something similar happens on the rear end, where we reference the Vintage Spider, the, how the graphical elements relate to each other, the, the rear lamps relate to the license plate in the center, how the fender section has this gull, gull wing shape. What we tried to achieve was to have a balance that is built on the spirit, on the proportion, on the styling details that are referencing the vintage car, but at the same time we have to carry it forward. So. By introducing these unique graphical elements, these three-sector position lamps and the double C-shaped rear lamps with the, that little color panel, I think we took it that one step further to take it from a, from a pu pure retro design or from a pastiche almost into something original, into something more contemporary.